Hey YouTube, I'm Archangel for Truth, and today's topic is war. What will bring war about, and what are the root causes of war? Now, there have been many predictions about World War III and when it will occur and how it will happen. In the Bible, it refers to the War of All Wars, which is called Armageddon. And throughout history, there has been wars in one place after another, World War One and World War Two, And always, always, it is the same reasons. Greed fear, and global domination. What people don't seem to understand, they've separated themselves by their national groups and have taken on a national pride. It's a form of fascism. The idea that we are somehow separate and different from one another. We are one planet, we are one people, and there is but one God over all. But national pride has allowed people to become blind to how they treat each other. And so the fear of resources, resources such as food and oil, also greed. When a nation or a people may have a resource that the, another nation wishes to profit off of or to have for its own people. God gave all the earth to all humanity. Man decided to separate themselves one from another and in so doing they began to look at each other differently. In my own nation, it was established by people who decided to attack the Native Americans, those people that were already here. And so they attacked these people. Also, they utilize slaves from other people from African nations, all in the idea of superiority over one people over another, all because of their greed, because of their fear, and because their will to dominate one another. Scripture says that man will dominate man to his injury. And this is what we see going on. We see this taking place not just in these isolated circumstances such as World War I and World War II or other wars. We see it taking place in the stock market, we see it taking place with the resources such as oil and grain and nations are in fear that they're not going to have a sufficient supply for their own people. But they fail to realize that we all are but one people divided by 
language barriers divided by different uh, territories but ultimately when it comes down to it we are all but one people if we were to instead of seeking to take advantage of each other we were to begin to love one another if we were to feel the pain that we inflict on each other we would never cause harm to our fellow man we would never take advantage of him because we would know how it feels to be taken advantage of we certainly don't want that to be done to us then why should any of us do that to another in order for there to be real peace between all humanity it is to realize this truth that we are but one and that this planet is equally ours altogether and that no nation should decide for itself the resources of an area because it is a global gift from God. Now, I'm not talking about globalization from a standpoint how others are talking about, but the simple fact of the matter is that when God establishes his kingdom on earth, it will be a global kingdom. It will not be separate nations claiming sovereignty over certain areas, but the whole earth belongs to God. And he has gifted man the ability to have it as his home. But man decides to try to seize parts of it and claim it as theirs. The land, the planet, and all that is in it, all the material, the matter, the energy, all belong to God. It does not belong to any nation. It is not correct for any nation to assume that because they have built a government under a certain area of land that that land now belongs to them that is a lie and the only reason why that is believed is because nations are willing to use deadly force to kill other people if they so choose to try to go to to that land in a way that that nation chooses not to recognize. It is an arrogance. It is a fascism. It is nationalistic pride. And it is of what will eventually lead to war. Because as resources with oil do dry up, and as food shortages should happen, then nation will fight against nation for whatever resources there are. This is an inevitability, and it is because we choose to separate ourselves. We choose to have this superiority, this idea that this belongs to us. It doesn't belong to us. The planet doesn't belong to us. Hell, even our own lives do not belong to us. We came into this world not in accordance to our own will, but rather in accordance to the will of God. We have been given the gift of life. We have been given all things. And yet, we assume that it is ours, that our life is ours. 
But if our life was ours, then we would be able to prevent from dying. But our life is not ours. It is a gift that God has given to us. So, what I'm trying to say in this message is the more we fear one another, the more we look at it after our own self-interests and seek advantage, to take advantage of lesser individuals, poorer nations, weaker military uh, nations, then this will eventually lead to such a war that it will destroy all humanity. And all that will be left are a few individuals that will, if they survive such a, a devastation. And the reasons are clear. Greed, fear, and global domination. So, this audio video is a message to the world leaders. It is a message that unless you recognize our oneness, unless you each pool together, not against each other, but share equally all things, and if we suffer, we suffer together. If we prosper, we prosper together. Either way, whatever happens to the one, happens to the other. Let every nation come together as one. Let ev all peoples recognize that when there is suffering by one people or taken advantage of one people, it is also to all of us. We must realize that we cannot take advantage of each other no more. We must stand together as one people, united. So the only way this will ever happen is that we love one another. Love is called the perfect bond of union. Love casts all fear aside. When you love someone, you're not taking advantage of them. You're seeking their benefit. So I say to all, I love you. I pray God's blessings upon every individual. To all nations, I say, seek to find peace with one another. Stop building arms, but build infrastructure to bring us together as one, to lead us into the future. If you do not, and you continue on this path, this path will lead to your destruction. And it will be forever your legacy. Because your short-sightedness because you could not see that your fellow man is equal to you. Please like and share my video if you feel that what I've said today rings true with you. I would appreciate it. In the meantime, I say it unto each of you, God bless you and take care.